Hey folks, it's Mike. I'm at the uh, Broken Head uh, Wetland Interpretive Trail, which is a big mouthful. Um, just out for the day, just to uh, take a look, because I've, I've seen plenty of photos uh, online about this place, and uh, I figured it was time I got here. And uh, take a good look at it, try not to fall in uh, any wetlands, because they don't want you to. So, as you can see here, these are the, uh, the bathrooms here. It's the only bathrooms on the trail. And um, if you got a weak bladder or you really filled up on that Slurpee, um, you better go now. Yeah, now. I said now. Um, I, I, I don't speak Doganese. Can anyone translate for me? Oh, wait. Ah, uh, no dogs allowed. Yeah. I hope that's not Fred in there. Stay away, Fred. I don't want any bears. So, I has it done. Um, I figured, oh, it's a nice sunny August day. I can walk around, just shorts, t-shirt, not worry about bug spray or anything like that. Yeah, no, um, I forgot the, the first rule of being in a forested area. Bug spray is required. So anyway, um, you know, being out here at the uh, Broken Head uh, Wetland Interpretive Trail, which is a huge mouthful, but in Cree it's much more of a mouthful, especially for an Anglophone like me. Um, but uh, it's a beautiful forested area with a nice boardwalk uh, along part of it, just to sort of protect the uh, the wetland area. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, you can hear the sounds of the Highway uh, 59 not too far from here. Um, will say as well uh, if you do come here you probably will have to go past it because there's very little signage for it uh, turn around at highway 12 come back which is only a kilometer away which is not a big deal but still paying the butt when there's traffic behind you but anyway it's nice here I've seen uh, lots of photos lately of this uh, interpretive trail um, I'm not necessarily copying them, I'm just inspired by them. Um, oh, I see a squirrel.
Yeah, I know the Proclaimers claimed that they would walk 500 miles. I wouldn't walk 500 miles in this. I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but I'd walk a mile or two at best. After that, maybe a golf cart. Golf carts are good. So to uh, piggyback on the uh, story that uh, my wife said about Fred, uh, a few years ago we went camping and uh, one morning I decided to leave to go get some coffee because, you know, I'm the nice little husband and such. Come back, uh, discover she's actually encountered a bear in our campsite. <laughs> so we call him Fred. Hi Fred, love you. Sheesh, this boardwalk goes on for miles and miles. Okay, not many miles. Not that many kilometers. Still long. I gotta walk it. So with uh, fall coming up soon, not too soon I hope, um, you know, you'll see the uh, changing of the color of the leaves and the grasses and such. This may actually look quite, quite nice. I, I can't wait for it, but I can't wait for it. Hey, you know what I mean. Looks like I've, like I've uh, gone to the end of the trail. Cool. Let's see this plate here. Awesome. Anyway, I've uh, reached the end of the trail, which uh, I think kind of means the end of the video too. Um, it's been a nice w walk through the uh, through the trail, um, seeing all the uh, various nice foresty sites, um, getting bit by mosquitoes. And, uh, well, um, I guess at this point I'll just end. Uh, thank you for uh, watching, and uh, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe. Um, see you next time.